Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Shipwrecks. I am Ghost in the Hella. And I am Velmax. And yeah, there we go. I think I also need a little bit more over. And this is Open Roads. Woo! A game that I think I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> a game that I found tooling around on the Game Pass offerings. Um, but it sounded very us. It sounds very our vibe. And it looks very our vibe. Um, it's, you know, I mean, we're gonna see what it is, but, you know, it's mother-daughter, oh, mother-daughter road trip, um, to solve family mysteries. Oh, perfect. Yeah. 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 Hence all the it's snooping time. <laughs> Because that's what we say on this channel when it's time to snoop. Snooping time. Snooping time. <laughs> Gideon Jones. Baby girl. She looks Baby like she's going to do some snooping she on this She is going to do stove. some snooping. Baby girl. Baby girl. I just cleaned that stove. There's nothing for you to snoop. Yeah. <laughs> Baby girl. Oh, she's so cute. Mm, she is so cute. Yes, come show the peoples. Show the people how beautiful you are, baby girl. Precious She's princess. very beautiful. This is our fur daughter, Gideon. Oh, oh, and she needs her needle claws trimmed. Yeah, settle down, baby girl. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> She's so graceful. Yeah. She is beauty. Ooh, she is grace. Tess. Little bear. Get out of the Start a streaming channel with kittens. So okay, uh, looks like we're at Grandma's birthday. Mm, yep, that's Grandma. Good old Grandma. And that's... Is Mia here? <laughs> I feel like she might dig the mom's vibe. Hey, Jane. Hi, Jane. Oh, my God. Hey, little bear. Me, Mom, Grandma, Helen, Grandma's 80th. Wow. Okay, all right, we can read. Nice. Can flip over. Can you look Look closer? at our nails. Got nice nails. And pack it up. <laughs> oh, he's got his, his toy. Gima! Mom wants me to pack up my room so it's ready for the move next week. Oh. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. <laughs> Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Tess's stuff. Yeah, one box. Stuff. We get one box. Oh. This actually make me think of those, like, Nancy Drew mysteries a little. <gasps> Mr. Mr. Bun! Bun! Absolutely, oh. we're taking Mr. Bun with us. <laughs> Ooh, Jane likes the flip animation. Whoop. Whoop. Geo. If she were Max Caulfield, she'd be having thoughts about every single thing. Right? Wee! <laughs> so I guess this is to teach us the mechanics of investigating things. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is that from our girlfriend? Open. No. No, it's from Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it's all family. May you enjoy all the blessings of the coming year. So proud of you, Grandma. Aww. So proud of you, Grandma. <laughs> it does look pretty gay. Grandma was gay. That's the mystery. It could be. We're not going to leave our plant, are we? Apparently we are. And our stars. I mean, I guess it's attached. All night movie marathon. I mean, that's a pretty boring poster, really. Right. <laughs> We're gonna need this power strip. Right. Gonna need this hairbrush. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, that needs some cleaning. Maybe we should leave the hairbrush. <laughs> we need to take the duct tape. And look, that's the good one. Look, that's like the act tape for actual ducts. <gasps> Snoopin' time. Birthday card. Okay, is this one also from Little Grandma? Bear. <laughs> <laughs> ha 
happy birthday, Teresa. It's, it's, al oh, <laughs> it's always so much fun to have you visit. I can't wait till next time. Heart, I'm so proud of you, your business, and the kind of woman you're becoming. All my love, and I'm assuming Augusta? Oh no, August. Aunt August. Okay then. Little bear. Baby boy. Oh, we, uh, we've got a Gideon and Kitten cams on. It looks pretty precarious. Oh, you need to restart it. Yeah. Oh, no, that's us. That's, yeah. You'll, you'll get there. <laughs> a little to the left. Oh, yeah. There you go. And some good kitten camming. <gasps> Is that a Tamagotchi? Oh, my God. Ooh, Tess and Fran, eh? Oh, baby boy. Okay. <laughs> I guess packing is easy when you only have birthday cards. Who's this Fran? Ooh. Tess, go to your room, baby. Tess and go to your room. Fran. Go to your room. Oh, no thoughts about that, Tess? <laughs> Who's this Fran? Back up. Note. Oh, hey Tess, we doing movie night at your place? Yes, yes we are. What movies are you bringing from work? It is comedy double feature night. I'll give you one clue as to which movies they are going to be. What is it? I already gave it to you. Tess, don't do this to me. You have your clue. No idea. <laughs> so, is it the 90s? Or do we just have a lot of There was a poster stuff? from 2002. Oh. So why do we have a Tamagotchi and, like, the most 90s erasers? Oh. <gasps> Clueless! Clueless! Oh my god! A rich and glamorous, oh, rich and glamorous high school student tries to transform a new pupil into the most popular girl at school, but fate has other plans! I guess that's a way to sell Clueless. <laughs> and Clue! <laughs> oh, that is pretty clever, Clue and Clueless. Six strangers are invited to a mysterious mansion for dinner, but when their host turns up dead, anyone and everyone becomes a suspect! That is a phenomenal double feature. Can we not pack these up? Maybe we still have movie night to go. <laughs> Gideon needs a crime lab. Hey, baby girl. Oh my god. Her name so. agreed. La he's Grande such a cool Famille. Baby. Oh, you're so cute. Alright, let's go in the closet. <laughs> Greenfield High School, 2002. Grammy? <laughs> Grimmy says, stay in school, kids. Don't turn out like me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, God, yearbooks. Wow. Class of 2003, next year, we rule the school. Allison. Except that she's not going to get to because she's going to be ruling a different school. Tess, not Allison. Allison will probably yeah. rule school with an iron fist. See you next year. Have an awesome summer. Brooke. Extra, extra. Read <laughs> all about it. It was awesome working with you on the newspaper this year. See you in the funny pages. Ryan. Wow. I'm the first to sign your crack. Jason. Classic Jason. Oh, Oh my, what dedication. Francine was here. Hey, bestie, I wanted to make sure you wouldn't miss this message. Now, anybody else who signs this will know I'm your bestie, not them. Let's have a great summer this summer. Movie night every night. Heart Francine. Okay, so this is obviously not a real... Uh, yearbook of this era because nobody has written their phone number oh wow or huh. 
Or none of them wanted to talk to her ever again. <laughs> Which was pretty much like against the 90s code. If you signed somebody's yearbook, you pretty much had to put your phone number. Wow. Even if you didn't want them to call you. Dude, 2002. So, like, cell phones were kind mm. of starting? No, it would be the like your par- the Let me rephrase. They would have to write their parents' oh, yeah, landline yeah, yeah. number. Yeah, no, 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 I figured that. <laughs> For all the young'uns out there. <laughs> These kids are way too genuine. Not a single South Park reference. Oh, God. Ooh, a pen. Mm. Pick up pen from work. Oh, we work at the Video Galaxy. Oh, of yeah. course. Of course we do. We're drinking that sunlight. Chloe? <laughs> I married Bigfoot. She's great. <laughs> Secret location of long lost bootlegger. Gold discovered, and only this man knows. Aliens are here, and they want your favorite recipes. Okay, so this is October 2002. Mm-hmm. So. The 2002 yearbook. Oh, wow. I think I need to turn the aim assist off. It's like. Hmm? It's super. <laughs> explains why me. you stole those movies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. It's not uh, sucking me back. Bubba. That should be making a much better noise. <laughs> you're not taking those back this close to moving. Hell no. It's clueless and clue. If you're gonna steal a couple of movies, hey. Andromeda Theater. Mm-hmm. Made in China. Microwave and dishwasher oh, safe. Oh! Funk! Did we just right. drop it? Nail polish. Nice. Saint Jean Nail Liqueur. It's clearly not the color we're using, though. Fake eraser. It doesn't have things written on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's just erased them off. Wee. <laughs> Seance. That's Ooh. also not the color we currently have on. So where is ours? Hancock's Hardware. Greenfield Web Page Design Services. Interesting. Web page design services and web publishing. Ooh. Oh, huh. So this is, this I is guess, us? Tess's business now. Yeah. Divine Design. Web pages by Tess. <laughs> Imagine this was Rachel's room. Everyone signs, <laughs> no one gives her a number. <laughs> oh boy. Oof. Movie reviews. Pirates of the Caribbean, Matrix Reloaded, page four. Preparing for homecoming. Put your on our basketball stars, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, so this is 2003. At least, yeah. Yeah. Well, the newspaper is, is uh, yeah. 2003. The new gym, worth the wait. Do we, do we want to read? Uh... Yeah. Everything? Okay, sure. <laughs> so, this game is two to three hours to play, so I'm assuming it'll take us, like, four hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lily Rodriguez, senior. I love the new logo painted on the basketball court. Go, Gremlins! Jake Rowenthal, junior. I hate PE class. Kids can get in shape without a gym. Tyler T.J. Jones, sophomore. Nobody cares what Tyler has to say. <laughs> it's below the crease. Below the fold. Mm-hmm. Ooh, never forget, marking the anniversary of 9-11. Our lives all changed on that fateful day two years ago. Greenville students share their remembrances. Like all kids in America and across the world, the students of Greenville High's lives were changed forever on September 11th, 2001. Whether you heard the news from your parents that morning that or saw me. the reports on TV, you're certain to remember where you were that fateful moment. In the last two years, the threat of terrorism has become part of our everyday lives, as have terms like weapons of mass destruction. 
From the moments the planes hit the World Trade Center towers, we knew things would never be the same. As American troops enter Iraq, the conversation has changed to one between people who demand we support our troops and those who argue that George W. Bush and Donald Rumsfeld's reasons for war aren't justified. But today is a day to mourn those over 6,000 people whose lives were lost two years ago. We appreciate the sacrifices of the volunteers, first responders, and community members who leapt into action when they were most... Continued on page two. Okay. <laughs> oh, plane ticket. Okay. Oh. Where are we going? Didn't, uh, From Detroit to Reno. Huh. Premium seat smoking. <gasps> That's why she can't let her mom see it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, mom won't see it there. <laughs> Horsey calendar. Oh. oh, that probably told us what day it was. Right. Pick up chapstick. Swatchers. Oh. All the lip smackers. Wow. Wow. There's another funky little eraser. I don't think Grandma's with us anymore. No, I don't think so either. Okay, so it's October 20-something. Mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. Loving memory. Helen Sophia Devine. August 12th, 1928 to September 5th, 2003. First Community Church, 245 South Franklin Street, Greenville. Pastor Emmett Fitzner officiating. More nail polish. And still, not quite the color we have on. Can we please close, close this drop top oh. door? There we go. Web scrap. Hair clips. Ah, oh, those are so much fun to <laughs> play with. <laughs> and never Pen use. image web scribe. Pen image web scribe for Windows and Macintosh. See, teach yourself pen image web scribe the quick and easy way. You'll be creating professional web pages in no time flat. <laughs> Visual guides for every step. They really um, did a good job with like the aesthetic. Like the wear mm. on everything is really nice. Marks and citizenship. Um. Phys Ed 3, English 3. Okay, so an A and a B. Health Education, A minus. Hmm, geometry, she got a C plus. Missing assignments. For chemistry, she got an A. Great improvement. I wonder why she highlighted that one. Fourth quarter. Okay. Back it up. Back it up. All right. Okay, she's got more than one box. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like the handles on her uh, dresser. Uh, drawing on the backpack. Mm -hmm. Huh. Interesting. The photo said it was Grandma's 80th. Yes. And then... Gentleman Jane says, I don't think her date of death matches up. 1928 to 2003 is only 75. Was it a different grandma, maybe? I like grandma on the other so. side? Or? It, looked, it looked like the same grandma. It did. Weird. Marnie's. The best in the business. Nom, 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 nom. Should really throw that out, Tess. Ooh, liquid gold. A history of the Canadian-American bootleg trade and secret fortunes left behind. Judd S. Baldwin. Oh, God. Oh, she's obsessed with it. <laughs> she's checked it out a bunch of times. God. Maybe this is part of our family mystery. Could be. The fun zone. 
This dude looks too old to hang out with us. Oh, Me and Dad. Dad. <laughs> Laser tag champions. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, yeah, it was Helen and both. Maybe Ghost Grandma's the mystery. Could be. Search spots. Interesting. Birchville Township waterfront. Port... Sandlock. Okay. Leon's Creek inland. Sugar Island. Accessible by boat. Dyer's, Dyer's Bay. Bay. State Park problem. Hunter's Point. Copper Harbor base of lighthouse. Interesting. The Hunt for Buried Bootlegger Treasure. Local Myth or Fortune in Hiding by Tess Devine. Prohibition in America was meant to stop people across the country from drinking alcohol in bars and their homes, but what it achieved was creating a booming industry of illegal alcohol imports, especially from Canada. Much of this so-called bootlegging was done in dead of night, ferrying barrels of alcohol across the border and huge sums of cash back to Canada. But much of this money was stashed, hidden, buried stateside by bootleggers for safekeeping until the coast was clear to bring it home. And some of that illicit treasure must have been left behind when bootleggers were arrested by the authorities or killed in underworld dealings gone wrong. The locations of these abandoned caches of riches may be lost to time, but hints and clues remain. My father and I have spent many a summer vacation tracking down potential spots to search for this left-behind bootlegger gold. None yet successful, but these local legends and the history behind them is fascinating to continued on page two. Guess you didn't bother. <laughs> huh. So every now and then there's, uh commentary. So you think her dad's in Nevada? Could be. Jackpot Gems, El Dorado, Neptune. Mm -hmm. So many birthday cards. Mm, I from forgot her dad? It. Yep. yep. But happy belated birthday. Sorry for the lateness, Tessa Bear. Things got away from me here, but you're always on my mind. We'll call soon. Can't wait, Dad. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's that? Push pins. <laughs> Where's our string, though? I'm noticing <laughs> a big lack of string. We've got a bulletin board. We've got push pins. Where's the string? Okay. Is that it? Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Bring the filthy hairbrush. I didn't want to, but... Ah, oh, the radio is just playing oh, the wait, same wait. tune over and over. Oh. When Dad came back and visited. Oh. Oh. I think that's. I think that's everything. Wait, wait, wait. Go through our own trash can. <laughs> oh, this is some next level snooping. <laughs> oh. Oh. Three dementia tips from a teenage grandson. Oh. <laughs> you can't blame Dad for not calling either Grandma as a ghost or a bootlegger who faked your death. <laughs> When a beloved grandparent begins to experience dementia, it can be really hard. I've learned a lot since my own grandmother started showing signs. I hope these tips can help you too. One, it's more than just memory loss. Dementia can bring on behavior changes, like becoming more stubborn or irritable, even if they were never like that before. Just remember that it's not their real personality coming through, and do your best to take it in stride. Two, be adaptable. You'll quickly learn which questions your grandparent has trouble answering. Learn to change the subject from things that are difficult or upsetting. If you say something wrong, don't worry. Take it as a learning experience. Three, look on the bright side. When they can't remember a name or event, don't correct them. Just act like nobody, like anybody might forget that kind of thing. Stay positive. You can't bring their memory back, but you can make them feel okay about where they are. 
And don't forget, not everything needs to be communicated with words. Sometimes a simple hug can go a right a long way. Ooh. Oh, those look like good cookies. Oh, I can... Oh, I can taste that. Yeah. Anything else good in our trash? Ooh, chips bag. Judy's potato chips. Beware Where's the Kraken! <laughs> Look closer. Sea monster spice. Ooh. How come we can't read this? Few things scare a seasoned sailor, but one creature strikes fear into the hearts of all. The Kraken. <laughs> Our sea monster spice potato chips are inspired by this mythical beast with a sweet and smoky flavor that packs a big kick. When Judy made her first batch of sea salty potato chips back in 1974, it only took one taste to know they'd be a hit. Each batch of kettle cooked chips is made with the finest ingredients, fresh potatoes, rich canola oil, and real sea salt. That's the reason nothing beats Judy's. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ingredients, potatoes, canola oil, sugar, salt, sodium, diacetate, torula yeast, dextrose, onion powder, autolyzed yeast extract, citric acid, Garlic powder, paprika, and turmeric extract, paprika, spice, natural smoke flavor. Judy's Potato Chips, 143 Something. East Abernathy Drive, Vermaine, 04412, proudly made in USA. Wow. UPC, 174439281. Nutrition Facts. <laughs> Serving size, oh, one package, 56.7 grams. Oh, no. Serving size, servings per container, oh, one. No. Amount per serving, calories, 230. Total fat, oh, oh, that's a little <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Jane says, ah, oh, yeah, this is what the stream is about. Yup. The hyper focus. Yeah, this is why this game that should only take us one stream is probably going to take us two. Hey, baby girl. We still haven't left the bedroom yet. Okay, well. We are still in the Total fat, room. 10%. Saturated fat, 5%. Trans fat, 0 grams. That's transphobic. <laughs> Cholesterol, 0 milligrams. Sodium, 160 it's milligrams. It's <laughs> forehead. <laughs> Total carbohydrates, 13%. Dietary fiber, 4 grams, 14%. Total sugar, Dear Open Rooms, we need a better Zoom feature so we can read the nutrition facts. Protein, 3 grams. Hi, baby! Vitamin okay, D, well, my eyes this. are starting to water. Vitamin C, iron and potassium. Whew, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, wad of paper. It just looks like a napkin. All right. Well, I think that's everything. Can we leave our room? Okay. Aw. Speaking of forehead content. Yeah. Whew. All right. Are we ready to go to the second room? Wait, wait, did you read the to-do list? I think I did before. <laughs> okay, but what if Max thought that was what trans meant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. You've established expectations now. <laughs> I think it's not going to happen again. <laughs> Did you wash dishes, help tag things for estate sale? That does sound like grandma's dead. That does. Get movies from work, pack up the rest of room. Hmm. Head down state. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? We don't have a basement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. god! Amazing! I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece 
come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it oh when she was a kid. This lady, the dog we had when we were growing I find up. it really interesting they animated the laughs, but Aunt not August right? Like all the dialogue. <sighs> yeah. Well, she is one of those things. <laughs> You're not dead great. A famous artist. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Child, that is yeah. not a little while. That's tomorrow, essentially. Right. <laughs> Weird. Having all those people in the house, Aww. speaking through Grandma's stuff. Mm. Glad mm. it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Mm. Are you okay? Mom, I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. Oof. <sighs> Wanna just take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from so this hell picture. Oh, it's perfect. I would. <laughs> of course. Thank you, Jane, for, for being the Mia in this right? stream. <laughs> okay, but <but-o-pull. laughs> Opal. So one of them is voiced by Carrie Russell. Speaking of the 90s. I'm assuming it's the mom. I would assume so at this point. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left. Until now. Okay, we're on room two. It's been 40 minutes. Not quite. Ooh, fedora. Ooh. Ooh so dapper. Was this grandpa's? Put it on. Put it on. God, child. Like, if I was a 16-year-old kid and I found my grandfather's fedora, I absolutely would wear the fuck out of that. You I, would. When I you was... would still have it. It'd Whoa. be on our coat rack. Mmm... No, I think, I think Grandpa's, uh, Grandpa's fedora is with my parents. Pretty sure. I did have. I forget it was if it uh, was Grandma's Pop favorite or, bleach. <laughs> if it was Pop Ups or Grandpa's, but um, I had a leather snap rim that was one of my grandfather's. But I think that has, I don't think that made the move from the old house. It got pretty, um, like, mildewy and stretched out of shape on a coat rack. Just a shame. It was a great head. What is, there's, there's a little thing on the back. But I think that's a normal thing for canvases. Ugh. I want it. Kudos to the, whoever modeled all this stuff. Right? Oh, that is filthy. Mm -hmm. Not seeing enough cobwebs, though. Right. Instructions. Hold, one, hold upright. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two is hidden under the thing. Uh-oh. Three, press lever. Four, aim lever. Five, direct at base of flame. Safe for wood, paper, fabrics. Flammable liquid. Electrical. Oh, nice. Spartan. That's a good one, then. What's the, uh... I didn't see an expiration date on that. I think a lot of it is more about the pressure. Mm -hmm. Maxims, axioms, and more of, from the sage of the Midwest. Dear Millie. Millie Calder. Oh, you can call your mom. Yeah. No one gives advice like Millie. Life. With her wit, wisdom, and ineffable tact, dear Millie has been charming readers for over 15 years. Found in newspapers nationwide, Millie doles out sage advice to over 5 million readers weekly. Gathered here for the first time are some of the most engaging responses from the sage of the Midwest. On matters of home parenting and romance, there's never been a question that Millie can't handle. Grandma's advice column is popular huh. for a little while. 
Wait, it was. Oh. Oh, she Millie. Maybe that was like her, like dear Abby name. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Read the entire two hundred page book. <laughs> You know we would. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think she saved her special advice for me. Aww. given some advice to herself. Ooh. Damn, Mom! house wasn't such a good idea. So do you, did you live in her house with her? I don't take I mean, that I'm with you, child. Oh, my God. Oh, we can turn off Kit and Cam. Gideon fucked off to cuddle with Little Bear. It sounds a little creepy down here. It's a basement. Mm, true. Uh, oh, well, that, that looks came... like a puzzle. It does. <laughs> oh, was it a Nancy Drew? Probably. We have never actually played any of the Nancy Drew games, but we watch another streamer play them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're amazing. Job's done. <laughs> now I can it. check that off. Calculator. Pen. Ooh, oh, oh nice. nice. So ID. somebody, I guess our grandfather? Or, hmm. Because Lambros isn't our last name. No. Although, I guess if it's Mom's dad. Probably Grandpa it's... Leo was a. There you go. An inspector for the county. Um, what does that mean? For the county? He inspected things. For the county. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks. Commercial buildings, mostly. When we were driving around town, he. Point out the ones he'd inspected. And tell me all the things wrong with them. I proud of inspecting the department store. You know, the big one on Old Main Street. Every foot of electrical, fire sprinklers, alarm system, everything. Wow. He'd say he was the only thing keeping half the buildings <laughs> in town from burning down. Damn. Electrical fires are no joke. They are no joke. Why do I feel like there's going to be an electrical fire at some point? Ooh. Schmancy. But those pens are dry, though. Oh, it's just like rust stains on the thing. I thought there was like something written on the uh, pegboard. Yes, dear? I'm trying to, to rotate it to the... And it's not working. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> what were you trying to rotate it to be? To get it to be level. Oh, okay, you can't get it to actually be level. Yeah. Okay. It's like, but the level is on the the pen. Yeah, it's just <laughs> a little off. Uh. Wait, wait. You gotta read it all then. <laughs> Electro Savings. Model U93E. Estimated energy cost. There. $244. Hot not water tank. Water tank. <laughs> oh, hot water tank. Yeah, okay, so good. It's... Not water tank. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's oh, like... those should have lids on them. Yeah. Or I guess most of them do, but the blue one should have a lid on it. Leo Lambros. Oh, oh. it's his obituary. Oh. He died young. Huh. Age 43 years of Orange Street, Greenville, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Died July 28th, 1968, at Alexandria Regional Hospital. He was a veteran of the Second World War, serving as a surveyor with the 173rd Field Artillery Battalion, scouting out enemy positions from the front lines. He later worked for Geen County as a building inspector. Surviving are his wife, Helen Lambros, and his daughters, Opal and August Lambros. Funeral arrangements under the direction of the Milton Family Funeral Home. Von Kuchen. Von Kuchen are incomplete. Huh. 
why were they incomplete? I'm gonna assume yeah, this that is... wasn't a mystery. <laughs> like, this is a pretty good, like, funky basement. Except there are not dead spiders everywhere. Like, there should be- that should just be, like, a mat of dusty cobwebs. That is way too clean for a basement. Uh, oh, are we supposed to look at everything else? Alright. Um, there's a little yard. Nice. Flip-flops. Yep. Oh. Oh. With, oh man! Yeah, classics. Uh, I never liked flip flops with those. Those, those are were classics. the best ones. Yeah, with the with the fabric. Oh, I like that floor. It's a nice house. Shame Grandma had to take. Oh. Oh. I'm taller than you were. Taller <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, I love the wallpaper. Oh yeah. You do. You're only 16. Why did your mom stop getting measured at 16? Why did your aunt stop getting measured at 14? Oh, I love this. I'm not Amazing. The snowsberries taste like snowsberries. We did our best, but the results... <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Glad I had you there to supervise my bakery skills. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, here we go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Cherry flavored cola drink. Cherry fizz. 12 fluid ounces. <laughs> 355 milliliters. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, that might be too hard to read. All right, let's take a peek. Nutrition facts. Calories 150. Very low sodium. That sounds empty. Why is there an empty sealed can of soda? I've got to take more pictures. <laughs> Ten two or two. They're dating. Who are these people? Mom's friends? Dorothy Jean Haverman and Nathaniel Edgar Borges invite you to share in the joy of their wedding celebration on Saturday, the ninth of June, two thousand and two, oh, at one o'clock in the afternoon, Saint Mark's Church. Lowell, Michigan. Totally gay for Francine, right? Oh. Pip's House Blend. Mountain Grown Central American Coffee. Net weight 15 ounces. 425 grams. Ground Grand coffee. coffee. There's nothing like Pip's. For over 80 years, we're proud to have served our famous house blend of smooth... Arabica mm -hmm. coffee blended and roasted to the old family recipe. We're sure you'll agree there's nothing like pips. For the perfect cup, use two heaping tablespoons and cold water. Keep cans sealed for optimum freshness. Ingredients Arabica coffee. Uh, distributed by the Dudley Company? Yeah. Carmel, Indiana. Sure. <laughs> Gentleman Chase says, I regret. <laughs> we are committed. No, we don't have to actually. Not for food consumption. Oh my God. All right, I, mean, this I one's, don't have to. All right, this one sounds interesting. Lemon oil. Oh my God. Lizard. Should say some snooping for cat oil. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that says. Lizzo cadre oil, uh, orange know. oil, peppermint oil, spearmint oil. Oh, it sounds delicious. <laughs> Are you sure it's not for consumption? All right. Eh, let's look in the bucket and there's nothing there. There's no hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Good old coil stuff. Oh, there's cabinets. 
Brand crunch. Go on and brand flake cereal with added fiber. Full of fiber. Ooh. What's your heart healthy goal? Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Even before you were born, your heart's been there for you. For your, uh, isn't it time to return for the life favor? Cereal. Right? Isn't it time to return the favor? For your entire life, your heart's been beating away tirelessly for you. It's a muscle that never turns off. The best thing you can do for your heart is to keep it healthy. With a doctor-approved exercise regimen and good eating habits. Eating Bran Crunch can be a great way to lower bad cholesterol and keep your heart in good condition. A clinical study shows that two daily servings of Bran Crunch can lower cholesterol by 4% after six weeks when combined with a low-calorie, high-fiber diet. <laughs> Fucking Kellogg's. <laughs> Oh, hippos. Nice. Eight vitamins and minerals. Wow, with three yum-tastic flavors. That weighed 11 ounces, 312 grams. I mean, they bothered putting all of this information this in like, a technically readable resolution. Can you imagine if Life is Strange had, like, everything uh, be readable? Uh, oh, wouldn't that be great? So many more things to connect with push pins and string. Right? Oh, God, we would still be playing... Episode three. <laughs> Yar. See if you can earn your er, no. If you can what? If you can your sail your way to a delicious <laughs> breakfast picking up the Dublins along the way. Okay, so that wasn't me. That was that was that just having a weird typo. Okay, everyone at home. Oh, no. <laughs> Pause us to the word find. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never making it out of this house. I'm never actually going to make it to the window. When are we going to make it to the fireworks factory? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's at least find booty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and we're sure that booty is one of the worst. Yes, there it is. Yeah. I found it. Booty. Oh god, it's... It's, it's one of the... Up to down. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep, found booty. All right. <laughs> Hippos, only you have a right to your body. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Us. Let's not play Life is Strange again, and 2 again. It's too boring. Also us. Let's read the nutrition facts <laughs> on the See, cereal box. See, I don't box. think we were avoiding it because it's too boring. I thought we were avoiding it because next episode is the one where Mushroom dies and it's just too fucking depressing. It's depressing. It's also kind of boring. <laughs> Olsen's diced tomatoes with basil and garlic. Ned weight 14.5 ounces, 411 grams. But also, we have played Life is, Str Life is Strange 2 before, but we haven't played this before and read all of the ingredients. It's true. <laughs> oh, this is this is a good one. Nutrition facts. Servings <laughs> per container, about three. Serving size, about half a three. cup, 126 grams. Uh, amount per serving calories, 50. We did not ever finish Life is Strange 2. I mean, technically we did on our not first playthrough, it. but yeah, not streaming it. We have not streamed beyond the first chapter. Yeah. Um, we probably should at some point, or I can, if you don't want to, to do it, I can just do yeah, it as solo stuff. I don't know, maybe. But yeah, I think we've Ooh. just been, both been kind of busy and depressed lately and like i've only been wanting to play yeah. coral island pretty much like just my my chill happy place game and life is strange too is just Sissy such a downer <laughs> this is a good one ghost dies <laughs> <laughs> oh we've got at least two mallets in this house all right well i think i know what we're gonna do later kill someone with a mallet I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Check sorry, what were you thinking? Check off the mallets. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what were you thinking we were going to be doing oh, later well. with two mallets? Mallet smash, smash things. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, that probably makes more sense than murdering someone with a mallet. Mm. I didn't see anything about murdering people in this game. Mounties. I mean, this is a pretty accurate what people did for knife. Oh. 
This is what that people used really to do closed. for fun. Just kind of walk around and touch things. <laughs> oh. oh. God, I think my parents have plates like that. Yeah. But, I, once, uh, I once accidentally uh, put one of them in the microwave, not realizing that that metallic trim is actually metallic. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss a dead body while reading a can of tomatoes. Yes. Wow. Was, this... Uh... Was this taken right here? Cool. That's grandpa. Mom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Probably only a year before he died. <sighs> Why is our mom wearing a trench coat in the house? Yeah. Very sudden. But I guess that's how heart attacks are. Mm. Damn. He was murdered. Yeah, he really freaked out when Grandma hit him with that mallet. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Grandma was in the basement. It could be. Just There's another up. trench coat. So many trench coats. Is that our trench coat? Probably. Trench coats so and like... trash bags. Oh, that's uh, trench coats and trash bags. Like, can be like our, our hipster uh, hipster brewery. Ooh, somebody's a smoker. Mom, please quit already. But you got a seat in the smoking aisle. It's a nice, uh... Feast. Extra mild. Wait, wait, Surgeon General's warning. Smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancy. Underage sale prohibited. 14 Class A cigarettes. I wonder if that's a Canadian thing. Because hmm. don't, like, American cigarettes come in packs of 20? Because she knows a lady caller could drop by any time. <laughs> Aww. 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 Tess. What? No one bought this masterpiece? Why was it for sale? I'm downright offended. <laughs> I made this when I was, what? That's pretty good for four, right? Frankenmuth. Frankenmuth. Yeah, at that pottery demonstration, Frankenmuth. They did, they'd call little kids up from the audience and show them how to do it. I was, I was so excited. I was jumping up and down, waving my hand because I knew that Grandma likes pots. <laughs> she kept it up on this display shelf with all her other pieces oh. all those years since you gave it to her. Wow. That's really cute. Mm. It's okay. No, it's not. Hold on to it. I... I think I'm gonna hold on to it. That's a good idea. Grandma held on to it all this time. Yeah. She wouldn't have wanted me to throw it away. Yeah. You can always club someone over the head with it. Right? Although, a real 90s kid would have made an ashtray. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Although, I guess you could put ashes in that. You could. Aww. A few pieces of pottery that my mom collected from around Yeah. The, the the lack of mouth movement is a little disorienting. And this one's Japanese. I've never even left the country. Why haven't we ever gone anywhere cool? Niagara Falls isn't cool. It isn't Japan. Well, Fair. It's a lot easier to Niagara Falls than Japan. That is a good point. It's a family of ventriloquists. <laughs> <laughs> that's the head that's cannon. A, that's now. a family secret. And They're it's all amazing they haven't figured it out yet. My own mother currently resides. Listen, we've discussed this. We're not going to Nevada to visit Penn. It's not going to happen. Well, what if I just went by myself? I've already paid for a plane ticket. No way. It's a bad idea. I wouldn't go alone. There's a bunch of reasons. Like, like, I said so, and mm. I'm your mother. She's 16. And she's, but she's gonna graduate, she's a senior, so shouldn't she be old? She should, but I'm pretty sure it says she's 16. Oh. Mm. Like the description. Did I will start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Mm -hmm. Looks sex. After my father passed, my mother, well, Turned into a hippie. A bit of a free spirit, let's say. 
doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. <laughs> Nazi ant. Take it with you. Was there an option? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just yelling at this <laughs> child. Pick through the trash a little more. Oh my God. <laughs> so was Data's pregnancy text. What's your plan? Oh, 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 it's so gross to just go right in there and pick up somebody's right. pregnancy text. It's like test. she definitely pissed on that. <laughs> Aww. Hey, Mom. Dean's Creek, no dice. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh, must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. Oh, it was kind of... Your mom isn't real. <laughs> I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. Your dad. <sighs> we don't talk about your dad. Well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. He's not dead, Mom. Why is her hand so tiny? Climb up the chimney, climb every chimney. <laughs> Everyone but Dad is hella dead. Trash. Right? Open every cabinet till you find the bootlegger gold. Bootlegger gold. <laughs> oh. oh, so she actually made pottery. <laughs> this is a road trip game, right? Yes. <laughs> we do at some point get in a car, apparently. Smash it. Is this some of the last pottery your grandmother made? Oh. After the fine motor skin started to go. It's still kind of beautiful. It's still kind of beautiful. I miss her a lot. Aww. Yeah, okay. Here's Grandma's drug scale. <laughs> oh, that's a pokey one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those windows. Cool. That looks like a tell me why puzzle. Uh, right? Uh, yeah. Did we have to do that for tell me? Do, do the the tripwire? Or nope, nope, just a just a guy. <laughs> just ray. a sunbeam. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so volumetric. I think we might have had a. Uh, <laughs> Your grandma wanted the ashes of that of the last man she killed to go in that area. <laughs> <laughs> A fuse, a fuse box puzzle might have been in Tell Me Why. Mm, that could be. Almost pottery didn't get sold. Loved watching her at the potter's wheel when I was little. Had she been doing pottery her whole life? Yes, since she was an Honestly, infant. I think it's something else she picked up after my dad passed. Like the advice column. Hmm. No, she was doing that since I was a kid. Wait, why did I think she did it early? <laughs> her was later. She ever with anyone else after Grandpa died? Whoa, where did this come from? She's That's why your dad so left. Vivation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined it. I thought it was pretty cool. The attention to detail is really good. Like, yeah. Almost too good, considering we still haven't left this house, much less gotten on the road. <laughs> Tell us, Grandma. <laughs> I, the fight it was really, I really was kind of phrased that way. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Oh, hey. 
No. Oh. It's August. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I even made Jane yell at me. <laughs> yes, I wish that we were still reading nutrition facts. <laughs> and the answer is still I well. The hidden gold? Oh. <laughs> around him somewhere. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Tess, your aunt is a Muppet. Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Some yeah, sort of witchcraft. It must be <laughs> Treatise. Somewhere. Little black book. <laughs> then why don't you go look for a mom? Right? Let's go. I think it's the book from um What was that other uh the other road trip one? The with the kid with the and the brothers and it was also this kind of animation. Something light. It was like a motion comic. And we were the fluffy dude. Right. And we were like three different characters. And we were like the little... Like there was like the little girl. And then her dad. Oh! Um, as Dusk Falls? As Dusk Falls! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're a vampire. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> That's why no one bought anything. They knew Grandma was freaky. <laughs> <laughs> My God, so many open box cutters just sitting out. Damn, you're supposed to close those. And we're back in the closet. Oh, that's, that's a nice closet, nice. Yeah, though. look at that. Oh, wow. I remember hiding in here with a flashlight to read my books when I was a little kid and we were visiting Grandma. And a box of crayons, apparently. We'd come to visit and I'd hunker down in here for hours. There's some kind of game in my head, I guess. I'd be hiding in here, and I'd hear Grandma out there in her room, typing away or just reading in bed. I know she knew I was in there, but she'd always pretend not to know, and I'd pretend she had no idea I was hiding. I don't know why. I just because kids are weird. The feeling of knowing she was out there. Mm -hmm. I've only slipped away into the next room, somewhere very near, just around the corner. Mom, are you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that gets mouth movement. Mm -hmm. Mom, hey, mom, mom, uh, mom. Somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk and her typewriter. He said oh. he was an advice columnist too and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He killed her for them. And a lot of money. Well, it was just an old desk. And it was Millie Calder's desk. Right? For us, maybe. I mean, For yeah. Him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Opal, your mother has always been an inspiration. Not just to me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years. To be able to write where she did. Well, I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me. Yours, Ben Gerber. And then there's a second page that is well, apparently okay. not worth reading. I guess it's all right that he got it. Ow. Glad you approved. Her mom is kind of hot now. We support MILFs on this channel. Aww, a farewell from Millie. Dear readers, it's been a delight, an honor, and a privilege to write to you over the years. Few people are lucky enough to say they love their job, and I'm grateful to be one of them. I've learned so much from all of you, and I hope I might have taught you all a little something, too. When I open your letters each week, I'm always struck by your passion. 
excuse me, your drive to succeed and do better. We've talked about the worst of humanity and much more of the best, and you will all will be an inspiration to me for the rest of my days. Even as this column comes to a close, I hope you'll still consider me a friend with benefits. I know I'll consider you one. Yours, Millie. Have you ever received advice from Millie? You may be eligible to participate in our class action suit. Uh, <laughs> if you have a story of how Millie changed your life for the better, send a letter to Dear Millie, Box 9975, Los Angeles, California. At this time, Dear Millie is no longer answering advice. Want to know something? Do Always. I didn't write this. What? <laughs> <laughs> You. <laughs> Ouch. Well, you're not like the, the writer. Well, I don't know. I think I, I think did you okay. did fine. Yeah. I, I mean, you did great, but, you know, I don't know. Were you surprised when I asked you to do it? Mm, I, I think her editor, she just wanted it to be from someone she was close to. I guess she was hoping for a family voice. I just tried to put myself in Millie's shoes. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Thanks. So I guess they didn't uh, bother to say the newspaper, Millie's dead. <laughs> she died. Wow, this place is huge. Can we open this? Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing in it on that side. Or that one. <laughs> Ashtray. Something royale. Isle Isle Royale. Okay. National Park. Okay. <laughs> Something Nog County, Michigan. Jane, were you adversely impacted by the uh, live action uh, 101 Dalmatians movie from this time period? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Ooh, another ashtray. Or the uh, animated one. Or, yeah, the animated that one, too. That also had a good, yeah. a good yeah, white streak in the hair. It's a shame that she was hopped up on animal murder. Yeah. What would have been? Hmm. Grandma's meds. Hmm. Guess we can get rid of these. Be careful about how you do it. Mementine. Mintasol. Lumino. Illuminate. Illuminate. 101 Dalmatians, yeah. Five milligrams of acetaminophen? Mm -hmm. Take one pill by mouth daily up to eight times a day what? as needed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> acetaminophen. That's just the, the, it's the Tylenol. Yeah. Yeah. That's That sounds like a ridiculously low dose of it. Right? Five milligrams? Maybe it's like supposed to be like a placebo? Maybe. Mm. Okay. Oh, right, we're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably trace it back to Ursula. Mm. Ooh. Also a good one. What is it with video games and this exact, like, hallway layout? <laughs> Maybe that's just Ugh. how books, how houses are. Oh, wait, this is, this is our room. Yep. Okay. I think we might need to go up to the attic. Hmm. Yeah. I think I may need to look away from the screen for a bit. Yeah. It's making me a little queasy. Yeah, it is a bit. Ugh. Not as bad as just some, but getting there. 
Why don't you close your eyes and I'll just do all the reading. Okay. Ooh. Tray. I guess we got a set of those. I think I might need to lie down for a minute. Oh boy. Do you yeah. do you need us to stop? Uh, you can carry on for a bit. I'm just okay. Hey, mom. Can you hear me, hun? Yep. Opal, sorry to hear that mom's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with mom's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I can provide right now, but that's just the situation we're in. If you're stressed about everything you have to do, you can always send Tess down here for a weekend again. I love hearing, I love having her around. Call me if there's anything new with mom. Love, August. Oh, interesting. Pirates of Penzance, directed by Opal Divine. Book and lyrics by Sir William S. Gilbert. Music by Sir Arthur Sullivan. May 2002, July 2002. Andromeda Theatre. Cool. What a talented family. Oh, we, you're right. We have to go in the attic. Could all this book be up in the attic? With grandma's things? Could be. All right. It's a bit of a cheat. The game description there, says that she finds things in the attic. <laughs> oh. Uh, I found this weird hook pole thing. What the heck do you call these things anyway? Well, at any rate, I should be able to use this to pull down the steps to the attic. Ah, steps to get to the attic. How luxurious. <laughs> If only we had steps to get to the attic. All right, where is? Up oh, there we go. Uh, Jane says, "Hope you feel better, ghost." Oh, thank you. It just came on very suddenly. Okay, come on out. Like, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> just. Oh, this is a good-looking attic. Oh my. Look how. Oh wow. Look how. It's clean nice. and not moldy. Right? It is. Yeah, Look at all it's the kind floor. of like, it's like that that one section in our garage. Uh-huh. If it weren't disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Swing into spring. <laughs> that's cute because Carrie Russell was, was, a, was Felicity. <laughs> and Felicity. Nice. Spring into sp swing into spring. What's in, what's out, what not to be caught dead in. Marriage, maybe mother didn't always know best. Oh my. Jane yeah. says, I have to go right. If I come back in time, I trust we'll still be in the house. <laughs> I mean, we've got another, what, 40 minutes? I think we'll still be in the house. <laughs> the new makeup. Ruth Harper takes you step by step. Sun, moon, rising. What's your sign? How to make it work for you? Biting your tongue versus speaking your mind. What was the date on that? 1960, maybe? Oh no, just says May. 60 cents. Hmm. Could be any time. Alright. Ooh, creepy dolls. Lovely. Okay, well this is just creepy stuff. Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Good point. 
Hmm. Ooh, guitar. Oh, that is going to be ruined. Just sitting up here in the attic. Oh, well. No thoughts about that. Mm-hmm. Another pair of that same flip set of flip-flops. Ooh, is that a wedding dress? More flip-flops. Wedding dress? Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. Trophy. Just oh, summon our mama. Leo was a bowler? <laughs> he and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling <laughs> shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <sighs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look... Your dead. dad is lame, sweetie. <laughs> bowling shirts? But he's Damn right. They are hip. <laughs> hip and cool, like, um... Like a guy in a ska band would wear or something. Hell yeah. Ska? It's... Um... <laughs> well, it's like I thought maybe it's not cool. <laughs> it's this music that cool kids at school like. It has like trumpets and stuff. <laughs> it's 2002 and or 2003. Like, like mom stuff. should know what I, ska I is at this point. Like that. <laughs> Was already in decline I see. by then. Else? You know, she's her character model is very Larissa Lena huh. in like either 10 Things I Hate About You or like in um, Third Rock from the Sun. Grandma's wedding dress and mom wore the wedding dress too. Aww. And you can wear it when you get married. <laughs> um, I'm not getting married. I think I'd want something more modern or definitely. I think I'd want a top hat and tails. I'm not getting married. You both know that. Hey, it's marriage legal, isn't mom. legal yet, mom. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf, a little bird that flies solo. What's the point of getting married? If you love someone, it doesn't change anything. <laughs> marriage is an institution based on women being property. Fuck yeah. Marriage is an institution based on women being property. I'm having no part of it. You know when people get engaged, only the woman wears an engagement ring? It shows that the man has claimed you, or it's like, don't touch this, it's mine. And women used to not be able to buy a car or a house unless their husband gave them permission. I my own person. By the way, I'm 16. I need a car. I should be able to buy a car. <laughs> well, women can. But it's what the institution represents. Mom. <laughs> I'm my own beast. I don't want to be thought of in relation to anyone else. That's how you feel now. But you might change your mind when the time comes. You know, also, if you don't get married, No, Francine and I already talked about it. Oh. Wait, what'd she say? If you don't get married, you don't. You can't get divorced. You know you wouldn't. You could have just had me out of wedlock. You know that's. Yeah. Oh, don't even get me started on having kids. And anyway, you can have kids without getting married. So you're not getting married. You're not having kids. You've got your whole life figured out at age 16. Yes. You don't want the just like every other 16-year-old ever. <laughs> I mean, but it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? Francine can wear it. Store in a dry place. Do not store in an open box in an attic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I haven't found that book yet. Mm. Attic is the only hint I know. <laughs> hmm. oh, remove sheet. What's under here? Uh, 
Here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Corpses. Mm. Yeah. There's a bunch of old stuff in here. Uh, <gasps> hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. It's a dad used to work at the video store? What's in there? Mom, we've got a direct line to John Malkovich's brain. <laughs> Okay, forget about August's book. We found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it here? Why? The answers may lie within. Finally, mystery! <laughs> Finally, the advice of the sa all the advice of the sage of the Midwest, all in one place. Just my two cents by Millie Calder. This <laughs> isn't what was in the uh in the thing, by the way. Oh, okay. Millie Cole, uh, in her first ever mm -hmm. collection, the Sage of the Midwest shares the wit and wisdom that made her a star from coast to coast. Millie Calder shares the letters, aphorisms, and anecdotes that made her newspaper column a staple of households everywhere, providing answers on everything from marriage to divorce to what to make for dinner. Included in our selection of essays, never before published, sure to delay both new and old readers alike. Illustrations by Margot du Dulevy. Mm -hmm. Dedicated to my daughters. August, my beautiful daughter, if this book can teach you even a fraction of what you've taught me, I'll know that I've succeeded. Aww. Always yours, Mother. Wow. I hope she uh, signed one for her other daughter, too. Open suitcase. It's a passport. <laughs> hey, Mom. Aww. Oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Then why was it in a, a secret thing? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. Is that mortgage to hell, too? And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. Hmm. Summer after my dad died. Mm. That's where he is. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. <gasps> Bootlegger's uh -huh. gold. Obviously the location of the bearded bootlegger vault. Or a body. Lady probably buried a bone in there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Real dogs do dig them. Dogs bury bones, but real life dogs <laughs> bury gold in people's backyards. In 1968, it was a different time, mother. I think we're reaching. This pretty freshly dug hole. Oh, oh, oh a Nixon pen. Oh. Ew. Oh, that has not aged too. well. <laughs> Ross. And Mom. <laughs> That's a great delivery. You painted them? Me and ah. August. Mm. The rocks from the stream were so smooth. But I forget why we painted them. It's a clue. Mm -hmm. There weren't many TV channels. <laughs> we'll be together soon. I love you, and we're going to love our new life together. Free and happy. Huh. Libertyville, 1969. Heaven mm. Divine. It's not signed by anyone. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... Why do you keep asking about your... Right? Planning to run off with this guy? No! Not the Helen I knew. Yeah, she was your mom. Intrigue. 
Grandma, what were you up to? <laughs> right. <laughs> Grandma had it going on. <laughs> Groovy there. <laughs> I did love that room. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home. So I just turned it into my bedroom. What? What? <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? What well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no brainer. Did you, like, Redo it to be like a bedroom inside? No. <laughs> the grandfather pulled the seats out for me and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No. Why not? <laughs> Another burglary last night in what state police are investigating as a series of crimes carried out by a single organized group. Mm -hmm. Once again, there were no signs of forced entry and nearly all of the valuable jewelry was taken over $100,000 worth of merchandise. Damn. Local Girl Scouts take trip to beach. Hmm. Sus. <laughs> all right. Organized group. Check. Mm -hmm. Digging. Check. Mm -hmm. Profit driven. Dear Millie, recently a close personal friend of mine confided in me that she is having an affair with her husband. What? I guess that she's cheating on her husband? I love them both dearly, and I'm not sure if it's better to let the husband know or keep the wife's secret, doubtful in Duluth. Dear Doubtful, situations like these are painful for everyone involved. There's never an easy out. Keep in mind that this is her secret to keep, and not yours. Keep your loyalties where they lie. Okay. Yeah, Grandma's definitely there having was a wine spree. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. That was when I was in the Girl Scout troop. <laughs> Always going to the beach and digging. So what happened? Did they get caught? Now that I don't remember. Hmm. Hey, mom. Can mom. Vintage. <laughs> Can I keep them? You think they're your style? Yeah. Sure. Just be careful with them. They're Bakelite. <laughs> We should now be wearing the glasses. Right. And that fedora. Huh. Cool. Qu question one, I guess? Q1. Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married. Apparently, her college beau and her, and her tied the knot without my knowledge. She claims that they wanted to skip the wedding to save up for, for a house, but I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I've dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that a marriage founded in secrecy will never last? Miffed mother-in-law. Uh, Millie is a character. Pull it together. And then I guess this was... Struck. <laughs> Answer for question one. Dear Miffed, Half the battle of being a parent is allowing your children to make their own mistakes. Only time will tell if the marriage will stick, and the only thing you can do is make the best of it. Consider the weight your daughter's been under, keeping this under wraps. We all have our secrets, myself included, and to not be able to tell even our closest loved ones can feel absolutely suffocating. While it can be hard to see a child make, make such a foolish mistake, the best thing mother can do is bite her tongue. Yours, Millie. And then I guess her editor said, too harsh, rewrite. Wow, so these are both. Um, both struck. Or, I mean, she could be editing her own stuff. Question two. 
My husband rekindled a relationship with his high school crush, a girl he hadn't seen since his Air Force days. They're both married. I mean, he's obviously married. And he told me they're just friends. Against my better judgment, I supported it, and they started spending more and more time together. Well, I should have trusted my gut. Coming home early from grocery shopping, I caught them in the mm. act. Now I'm at a loss. My friend says get divorced. My mother says to stay together for the children. What can I do? Hopeless in the heartland. Dear Hopeless, nothing's harder than having your marriage fall apart before your eyes. Trust me, I know. And that's particularly crossed out. It's hard to say what's worse, the sense of betrayal or the realization you've been had. Divorce is a tricky subject, no doubt about it. I'll tell you one thing, though. There's always time to start anew. Abandonment and freedom are two sides of a coin. Yours, Millie. No newspaper will allow you to argue for divorce. Rewrite. Did Grandma write this? During the last summer we visited the cottage. Was she... Right before she killed Grandpa. Right? <laughs> Also okay. that. Right, me. I mostly just tried not to think about it. That doesn't seem very healthy. It got me for me. <sighs> Diary. Yes. Diary? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Grandma wouldn't have nope. cared. She, she put it in a suitcase in the in a hidden hole in the attic. Right? Oh, it was from 1968. Ooh, mm -hmm. Forget about the past. Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. This guy is pretty determined aren't any help they think they're being good neighbors but if anyone should know where the path of good intentions attentions leads it's these church ladies <laughs> the children carry on best they can opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual almost as if it were any normal summer mm. august does worry me a bit she's becoming caught more and more in her imagination i wish it could help her but there's so much i can't say it's becoming a challenge to keep my correspondence with concealed. It's only a matter of time till we're together again in person. But to hold it all inside, not to tell a soul, it's almost too much. But he knows, and I know, soon enough that the waiting will be over, and this will all be in the rear view. And then the, the postcard. All right. Let's see... Oh, that is pretty well obscured. Right. Next. <gasps> what? Mom! What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never Shit. heard about this? Uh, why no. would she have? And what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. Okay, well, now we've got to go check the whole place out. There's probably people living there if it still right? stands. Maybe we'll find the bootlegger gold. Right? Find that bootlegger gold? Oh, not this again. <laughs> hey, Our poor mom. We can figure out what really happened with Grandma Helen and the mystery man. She was having an affair. No, why would she want to know? Yeah. I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure to find your, your. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Welcome back. Yes, we're still in the, the house. The answer, the answer to did Grandma fuck was <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You do want to know, don't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> Grandma Helen fucked. <laughs> <laughs> A little change of scenery. 
would be nice. That's right. Ah, that's the spirit. <laughs> we could spare a like, she should be, like, for a little rest, I would be right? devastated. Like, oh god, right. my mom was having an affair? Right? right? She was gonna leave? Our entire family? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> she needs some time to process this. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. Hey, yeah, let's burn good. this house down. Even if it's just for a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mom, I'm moving schools in a week. Right? <laughs> No! There is a freshly dug no, hole! Really. Like you were in theater, right? It's the X Files. Or is it just X Files? Always looking for money. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Well, if I find it, you'll be the first. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. I, we were all thinking it, Jane. We were all thinking it. Or... Oh, God. Are we getting in the car? Okay! Watch it! Hey! We've got an achievement for leaving the house! Oh, this should be great for your motion sickness. Oh, yeah. Whee! We're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we might find? It'll be a while before we get there, though. Road trip! Also, like, we should... Oh, no, we can't be texting yet, right? It's still kind of nope. early for that. But, like, did we tell Fran that, like... <laughs> so it smells like oranges in there, I guess. Oh. <laughs> 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 what you were doing. You were being annoying and pretending like you don't know what it is is just more annoying. Aww. I can't stop being <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that is the most annoying answer. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, burn. Okay, fine. Why aren't we wearing seatbelts? It was the 90s. <laughs> Mom, do you ever wonder why we're animated differently <laughs> than the rest of the world? Right? It wasn't the 90s, though. It was the early aughts. It's true. Bah! We're not in our chair. Where are we? We're... Oh, I like our backpack. All right, so it's 8.40. Mm -hmm. Do we want to do stuff, or...? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing back there? Are you going to do your homework? Yes. No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Same. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. I can Stop touch it. it. It's not safe. You know what's not safe, Mom? You not wearing your seatbelt. I'm surprised she didn't yell at us again. Oh! <gasps> Yes, the shit that we took! Oh, oh we can text Francine! Yes, 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 yes! That, hey, Frankie! That'll be 10 cents. Guess 20 where cents? I am. 30 cents? <laughs> where? In the car. With my mom! 40 cents. Yeah, and? 50 cents. Why uh, would you text me about that? 60 cents. Because! We are on a road trip! 80. Oh, are we roaming? Is that a little roaming Oh, thing? no, we might be roaming. Oh. <laughs> oh God, Jamie. You know who wasn't safe? Grandma. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, was this planned or... Not till this morning, lol. That turns out Grandma fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Oh boy, that looks like an expensive one. We found this weird stuff in my grandma's attic, and now we're going to my family's old summer house. You have a summer house now? I know. My mom never told me about it before. No one's been there for like 30 years. I'm hoping it's either cool or haunted. Why not both? 
you know what? You're right. Nobody texted like that at the time. Right? That's like I'll text $3 you. worth of text. I, I'll text you tonight if we find anything cool. Or haunted. Did you tell Mom about the plane ticket? Nope. Tess! Also, I'm pretty sure, like, at the time, the phone bills came with, like, all the text printed out on them. Oh, no. Yeah. Whoops. You have to! Okay, have a safe trip, nerd. Yeah, this is... lost count. Ridiculously expensive. <laughs> Play snake. Ooh, registration certificate. <laughs> Plate type, pan. Plate number, 418JEJ. <laughs> Registration type, passenger. Effective date, 10-21-2002. Aren't you so glad we're in the car Month now? Month 10. Year 2005. Wait, 05? Oh, no, it, it expires. expires. Oh, okay. okay. Whew. It's like, wait, what? How many years have passed? Trans transaction number 413-743-9552. Oh, so I guess the yearbook was a junior high yearbook. No, because it, it was said like, 2003 they were going to gra graduate. Huh. But then she's... But she's only 16. Yeah, yeah I, so I don't confused. know. I'm so confused. Oh, the plane ticket? Um, The plane ticket, I think, is to go see her dad. Yeah. And she has somehow purchased it in secret. Quick and stop. Of Greenville. Okay, so from October 17th, 2003, at 11.04 a.m., Trimant Gum Single Pack, Judy's Chips, Sea Monster, Cherry Fizzed Can, and Citrusa Can. $3.71. Hi, Dad. Text me back when you're around. Aww. 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 That's sad. Get through Mom's purse. We can't. Oh, I tried. Mm. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house? <laughs> the timelines here are oh, just as fucked. This life is strange. Yeah, right? 15. Your age? She's 16. I'm 16. <laughs> Thank you. About your age. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time ago. <laughs> wow. No one's been oh. oh, ouch. Ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution? Like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> That's a little much. <laughs> you know, she's obviously teasing you, Wobo. I mean, Come on. I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. Oh my God. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think. Summer of 68. Summer of 68. <laughs> so, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. I'm just what gonna take her like? word for it. The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah. <gasps> God! I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. Why did you never go back? Oh, You've just, like, got right? this property. Yeah. Like, you sold your childhood home. Every day just I mean, I guess they didn't sell it. Presumably the bank reclaimed it. Yeah. But. So why did you stop going? Oh. Um. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college, and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where you could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? Yes. No, <laughs> well, Dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work wow. late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. He was having an affair, damn it! On the store monitors. <laughs> uh, he'd have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer house. It's because I was because having I an affair there. 
He would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work. Oh, oh you think it needed a lot of work then. <laughs> right. For decades, out there in the middle of nowhere, it's gotta be falling apart. It could still be in good shape. No. Maybe somebody's been. You know, yeah, squatters. <laughs> it's yeah, theirs right. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the guy and tell me why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you know, like, oh yeah, the neighbor Sam, Sam. or something. <laughs> shoe elves. I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if it were magically still in good shape, considering we moved in this way. Ouch! <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm this sorry. might be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? <laughs> Disaster <laughs> Oh my god, yes. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. Wait, so you're all packed up and shit, but like, you don't know where you're going? Damn. What this woman... <laughs> This woman needs a villain arc. Yes, she has the hair. She does. No, just like when you lived in that van. You find an apartment. You should have already found one fun. by now. The theater company. Oh. I thought you said it was underwater. Oof. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but mom, what? We need money. Believe me, please. It sounds like Aunt August has Oh, it's has too money. early for an OnlyFans, right? Exactly. <laughs> he could help. Pay for things. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Notorious PIG if won the pig racing championships today. There's pig racing championships? I mean, that's not surprising, really. <laughs> but, cool. <laughs> the money. But Dad moved out west for work. Mm-hmm. Well, don't laugh at me. I'm 16 years I'm not, old. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? <laughs> Mia's thirsty. I think I just oh, I miss help. Mia. If he hasn't told me his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always do. Mm. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. No, because you've never explained it to her. That depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. Mm. You idealize your father. Yeah, I'm 16. Yeah. Right? I just. Also, Mom, I was on the road. Who is driving this car? She's only driving like five miles an hour, <laughs> though, so. Fair. This is actually better for my my dizziness. Hey, kiddo. Sorry I missed your messages. Was in the mid of He's the drug dealer, biz he? negotiation. What's up? No, a, a dad would have said was up. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> hey, dad, what's up? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. Oh, interesting. So we can choose what to say. How's work going? Good! Making money! I don't know if Mom told you, but we are moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for Mom to pay for rent at a new place and stuff, stuff like that. Do you think you could send some money back to help? I'd love to, kid, but right now my liquid assets are all tied up in reinvesting at work. If I sent enough back, that could help you worth a damn. Without it sinking my business out here, you know I would. But your mom's always been the smart one. She'll figure some <laughs> things out. And yes, I said shell on purpose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Papa. You understand, right, Pumpkin? Yeah. Did you tell your mom you bought the tickets? Not yet. Me and Mom are actually on a road trip right now. We are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? 
Wow, you need to tell her, kiddo. Or else I will. And you know she would freak out. Whoa! Classes. Okay, okay, I promise I will ASAP. I know you will. Love you. Actually, I have to get back to it now. Treat your mom nice, okay? Love you, Papa. See you soon, smiley. What? Just Papa love Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes? Yes, I am. <laughs> to who? It's to who? Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to pay for these texts. <laughs> texts. Getting his side of the story. No, I was asking him for money. That's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. <sighs> They're not my enemies. Or dads. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... I'm not supposed to. Hmm. Oh, my. Okay, it could be worse. It could. Oh, wow. that looks... So we're already there. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> we need more thirsty suitors, Dad. Oh, he's so okay. good. I just didn't think he would still be here. Scarecrow. Um, Mom. Well, it is. <laughs> Who mowed the lawn? It looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. Yeah. Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> a little more... Well... That's more of a summer shack than a summer falling apart house. Weather than the last time I was here. Yeah. I guess I am too. Uh, you probably look better than you did then. I'm gonna look at the walkthrough. Okay. And just see like how much we... more we've got. I'm assuming quite a lot. Like... Yeah. I, I think you weren't supposed to spend like two hours on the first. Two, three, the first three scenes. Right. This isn't exactly what I pictured when Mom said they had a summer home. But it's still pretty cool in a retro way. Oh, God. Some of the windows are open. Oh, oh, it's not uh, going to be good in there. Oh, uh, dear. There's probably lots of cool old stuff inside, like mold and raccoons. From when Mom was a teen. <laughs> and hopefully some clues to the identity of Grandma Helen's mystery, ma'am. Open Roads 100% Achievement Guide. Easy 40 minute completion. <laughs> Skipping everything. But that's not how we do things on shipwrecks. On shipwrecks, we read the labels. Yeah, this does not look like a house. It looks like a trailer, basically. It's a bungalow. Huh. Mm -hmm. Sure. I could see teens selling ice cream out of those windows. Yeah. Oh, you died. You are 20 minutes into the game. <laughs> <laughs> mystery Man. Okay. I wonder if her Mystery Man even knows that she died. I wonder why they never got together. Like, permanently. Maybe he is also dead. Oh, there's a motel. Oh, there's whole other there, yeah. places to go. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to call it a night. Yeah, we're, get, we're we're this is gonna be more than one stream, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like oh, this good one job takes... turning a two-hour game into <laughs> multiple streams. Right. Like ah, oh, it's two to three hours to play it. Ah, we can knock that out in a single stream, sure. <laughs> Two hours later, <laughs> <laughs> we've left the house. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you fun. for coming along for this journey. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the road trip part, <laughs> kind <Yeah>. of. <laughs> it's mom's old bedroom. Yep. That's so scarecrow, scarecrow looks, looks suspiciously in good shape. Yeah, those raised beds look recent. Yeah, those tended. raised beds look better than ours do. Frankly. But, yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, do we need to, like, reach a safe point, or can we I just think, save? I think we've hit the safe point. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Oh, there are snakes in there. Totally. Doghouse. 
Yeah, those are open. Those are just open windows. That house is going to be so water stained. It's been 30 years with the windows open. Why would you leave the windows open? (laughs) Anyway, have a great night. (laughs) Oh, tire tracks. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Good night, folks. Next week. Yes. Good night. We're getting to the Life is Strange part of it. Okay. All right. (laughs) Bye. Bye.